But I don't like the game doesn't even tell you what happens if due to said action. Oh, I got the achievement twice. That was horrible. It was chapter it, four. Don't. It was. I, I I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? <laughs> Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was. There was a guy there, but. There was some kind of. Some kind of animal. The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Did I, did I get it? Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. No. Uh, oh fuck! Look at that. Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff. That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. So, sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? We cut his leg off. If something happened, it's just I don't remember fine. much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. I know how to use it, sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. I'm not walking in there. Right? It was probably nothing. Yeah, but is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, um... I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Well, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. 
Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh, no, 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 um... One of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice, and it was yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. And then the game cuts to black. Yeah, this is surprising. I haven't dropped frames yet. Okay. Let's see, see what today brings. Okay. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. Well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure. I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Oh, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. All right, we are now playing as Emma with no clothes on. Sweet. Uh. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life. I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Yo. Yo, there's somebody... Oh. Y'all saw that, right? 
Wait, is it? Yeah, well, y'all saw that, right? I ain't tripping, right? Y'all saw that. Yo. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. You've been swimming in dookie water. Okay. We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. Yeah, but y'all saw that, right? That looked like the, uh, the police officer dude. Or just something else. There was something in the background. Yo, this game is awesome. But, uh, considering there... That's, that leads to the treehouse, right? The treehouse, we think there's somebody in there. Through this road, we may run into the monster or the other dudes, but... I'd rather investigate what's up. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now, you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Scariest game, but since until dawn, and I have not been scared yet. Except for that, like one part with the camera. That was that was kind of weird. I'm gonna be honest. I actually don't even really know if I'm delusional. There was actually something back there. But uh, the hag of Hackett's quarter. Dude, okay. every one of these videos. I'm always a weird. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going uh, for it. What do you know? Well, we is wasting battery trying to record and keep this flash going. We finna get folded. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, this this ain't healthy. Like, like, like this ain't it. keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those. Treehouse. The keys belong to the North Kill Police Department. What are they doing all the way here on the island in Treehouse at Hecate Quarry? We still have two of these. Which means we're missing stuff. Unless we can find those later. I'm sorry, officer. I have no idea what you're talking about situations. Well, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? 
I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and oh look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally yes, no there right answers. Search bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that there. much it doesn't mean go up there I signed up for one of these options not both of them no stop <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore Just clap through that. Proceeds to block the door where there's a window there. Hey, hey listen, we got it all right. Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just, I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on. Oh, man. I could eat a horse. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> hey! I just gave it to us that time. There was a found. Strength. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all while. And well, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Oh, we missed one. 
So you can find more than one in one chapter. It's interesting. Unless they're weirdly out of order, like in some video games. Where you find, I'm hoping not. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Optimistic, I hope they're gonna be a Do you think it has their son? Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is going to get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. It's the hack. It's Corey. I can. I'm gonna. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like what? Should I ask for like police, ambulance? Cops with guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say 911. What's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help. My friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now. And we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. Damn. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, yeah, man. So this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah. And where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back 
when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's it's probably the weather. Dex. <laughs> what weather, Ryan? You really pushing this? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlyn. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Plus, it's a double barrel. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Like, uh, all right, you're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it.
I, I hate how, like, sometimes my, like, comedic, like, timing is just so, like, funny. I'm over here like, oh, he's not gonna get up. He's not up yet. I'll take my time. The second I say that, he's just standing right fucking back there, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> this, this is not good. <laughs> uh, well, now we're at a black screen, guys. The video, I think, is over. to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? Strength. <laughs> Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into it. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Dude, that pisses me off because fucking last episode I threw dirt at that one dude. You know, we're gonna go for another chapter. Why not? Honestly, if I, I literally, if I could just get this out as quick as possible. I mean, it's only been 30 minutes as well, so. I feel like you guys would like an extended episode anyway. Because this game is fucking. I think we'll leave that. And if once I get to the lobby halfway through the game, then I could just probably do two episodes. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm, uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. That's the white brain mentality. Get your way back here.
To say, fucking, but like, this is a fucking mind fuck of a game. I'm not what? Lie. What? Yes. Yeah, so, like, I was just, you know, thinking about like the okay, start of summer and when we first met and started camp and, well, like, now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other? You know. I'm sorry, Nick. What? What are you saying? Hey. Kind of pouring my heart out here. Nick, I'm I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out. And it's just not a good time. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. The fuck is this game? I just mean. Of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um. I... You can tell me. Yeah. I. I guess. <sighs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> Yo, why is every character gotta turn into such a dickhead? Just like... What is going on out there, Caitlin? We've died. We've died. It's okay. I got this. <laughs> so why he oh my God! What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide! Because 
there's the there there was the seed and back with fucking Jacob, and then there was that fucking line she said to me. What does the game want from me? What do you? Okay, I'm gonna look at my shit right now. Down the rabbit hole. Let's see who this is. Have you chosen to help on the break of the cabin? Have you just whatever? Have you left your backpack in the lodge kitchen? Ryan picked up the vial dropped by the hunt. He's finna die. To say the least. So, the Radio Hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual okay, wait, radio on, keep going. I want to specify this because I don't think I specified this in the first episode because I was trying to stream. I am not at any point during this game, no matter what the fuck happens, I can't restart if I lose a character. If I get somebody killed due to my own dumbass decisions, that's it. Okay? I, I don't think I made this rule beforehand, but I'm making it one now. If I get a character killed due to something that I did or a choice that I made, anything like that, I can't reset that as my path I'm going. Okay, because I did that in House of Ashes, and I felt like shit afterwards, I'm like, damn, bro, like, literally, I should have lost more people because of my dumbass decisions, but it was probably because I missed QTEs as well, not because of the fucking... One was the choice I made, the other one was because I kept missing QTEs, so... Nation, actually, um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and... You know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet. Like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Uh, well, I think it's about time we investigate. There is that area back there. There's probably a bunch of shit over here. Well, let's go investigate. I'm trying to look at these fucking tarot cards. It's not
Oh. Something like that could really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then... We would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. Like this game, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, in like until dawn, how's that shit like that? They never made me consider so much, but in this game, I feel like every little thing that I do can get me fucked over or save me in the long run. And the premonitions are of no use to me, to be honest. This one makes it happen at the beginning of the game. And also, this game suffers from. Shitty characterizes where the character's personality would change in literal seconds. It's really weird. Do 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 it's this. Restriction like a shadow torn from one's cor corporal form. Pay attention and act before the demon unleashes. Each of us have one, even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers. Okay. Wait, is that, so we broke into like you know how we broke into the cabin, right? Can we get into their cabin? The second I move my sick forward, the motherfucker runs about. So where can we have missed this tarot card? Everywhere, beach hat, where Probably. the hermit with the hermit comes isolation loneliness but reflection too perhaps given some thought the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety but that all depends on your actions that means there was three so far. huh All good? I'm starting to give me a minute confident all good. Yeah. Uh, give me a minute. All right.
yeah, then I'm gonna go check it out. That's why Nurse Kelly went home early. Dude, that's actually fucking sick. Okay. Well, that, that, that actually is fucking terrifying because that means I probably missed a lot more. we found everything. All good? on the wall of the radio hut. Blues? Uh, scroll down here a bit. Triggered bear trap. The bear trap definitely wasn't there over summer. At least it can hunt. It can't hurt anyone. So that was... Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking scared. Information signpost. There, though this is a novelty signpost, it also acts as a chilling reminder that Hackett's Quarry really is a long way from anywhere. Under the camp nurse. For a second, has written notes. The camp nurse suggests I think she takes a a day early. Surely they're uh, surely that's a little irresponsible when kids are around. Okay, wait, you can actually somewhat read that. Diane, you can go ahead and take off early today. The bus is gonna be a little delayed and I don't want you waiting around on my account. I'll make sure the kids get home without any bumps or bruises. Thanks for all your help this summer, Chris. Yeah, she didn't fucking hesitate to leave. She said, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Let's go for it. Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is, so... I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, 
that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The te technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's going to need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Does Mike? It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So we can actually talk to people with this thing. Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so um, you know we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but. Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And there has been a horrible accident attack. And there has been a horrible accident attack. Some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears and uh we don't know what to do so please uh come help us sos uh this is a, an emergency s save our ship come on down please help us did i do good was that swarm of bears yeah herd of bears yeah i've heard of bears but oh my god <laughs> all right I, I guess i should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Out. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 what the fuck, man? How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit, shit, fuck. Hey, hey, shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Well, I'm sure it knows we're here now. After that scream. They cast right, I, I, it sounded like Aper Ryan did us. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear?
What is that? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Uh, oh, fuck! No! Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get in... Uh, Get into the cabin now, go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Anything we can do. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it, and, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know... Do it! Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. So, there's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Go, quickly. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do, what do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, 
take my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh. Oh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. This game is wild. Is it safe? I don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell them what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It... <laughs> Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? You're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Did we actually lose Jacob? The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. Here we have the hermit. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Two futures to see, but only one can be seen. Make your choice. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here, 
I'll wait for you. That's what I'm gonna call it. I, I still don't know if we lost Jacob or not. I, I'm, I'm thinking that is Jacob. But... If it wasn't meant for the creature that attacked the radio, then it may not have been very effective. The thing was fast. What's worse than risking life and limb? Choosing between the two. Polish off those history books and delve into some medieval healthcare when a friend asks you to lend a hand. Dylan decided to sever Dylan's hand. Dylan's hand used the chainsaw to sever Dylan's hand. Dylan's affection stops ready. Also, Emma isn't there, so I mean, that, that must mean. Is it showing the characters that are there, or who? It is showing Abby, Dylan, Caitlin, Nick, Ryan, and I'm like, oh, that means he must have lost Jacob. But no, Jacob isn't there either. I'm gonna call it here. Um, I'm not sure if we lost Jacob or not. I'm assuming that is Jacob. And and also she said the line one less vermin gone in this world, so I'm so you lost Jacob. We did, unfortunate. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what we could have done better to save Jacob. I, I mean really I don't know what the fuck could have been done. 